In this episode of Keith and We Adventures, we are going to show you a little-known national monument in the very southeastern tip of Arizona called the Chiricahua National Monument. We're going to explore it at the same time you are. Come with us. Let's check this place out. This is our first hike. We're going to, we left uh, Messiah Point, and we're going to hike over to Echo Summit, which is supposed to be a pretty uh, up and down hike. We are headed on the trail. It does show how many interesting hoodoos there are in this place. One thing I've noticed that it's so beautiful, you're always looking up, but these trails are so rough that it's super easy to trip and fall. So you really have to pay attention, <laughs> otherwise you're going <laughs> to... Who knows, maybe we'll get a wipeout on film. What do you think, hon? Yeah, the sun is in the perfect direction to see these. So this trail is quite up and down. And it looks like it's going to be quite a bit of up to get out because we have definitely predominantly been going downhill. So we should be huffing and puffing because this trail starts at about 85, 8600 feet. So there'll be some altitude uh, that uh, will affect us quite a bit. I can feel it now. But it's beautiful here. For the most part, you don't see people. I'm really glad we came here. This is an amazing park that people just don't seem to know about that much. I've not asked one person yet outside of this park if they've ever heard of it that said, yes, I've heard of it. No one has that I've talked to. So anyway, there you go. Oh, very cool. Some of these rocks are just barely balanced. Yeah, we're going through a few little canyons. And uh, a lot of diverse terrain. Cool. It's like a cave. Oh, this is neat. This is cool. You buy yourself or what you're in a cave, honey. Boom! We're out. We're definitely gaining some elevation. The land of hoodoos! Now there's a really cool photo. I'm gonna stop and have to take this photo. That is really neat. So Wee Wee's gone up ahead, scampering up. This is such a cool area. I mean, look at this behind me. That's what I'm walking up through right now. And I'm glad I'm able to share it with everybody because just saying, have you ever been to Chiricahua National Monument? It's not really quite the same as being able to show 
So let's look ahead here. Push it over, honey. It's got this green moss along the side. I love it. It uh, reminds me of the High Sierras, some of the moss that grows on the pine trees. So here's our camp for tonight. It's by a gurgling stream if it had water in it. <laughs> but this time of year there is no water. We're in the Coronado National Forest and there's a lot of dispersed wild camping like this. Pulled off a main road and we've got a fire pit and it's nice and quiet. It's just really nice. So today was a great day going around the uh, hoodoos. So tomorrow we're going to go back, do some more hiking, um, maybe hit a few of the high spots. We're back on the trail. So we're taking another swing at the trails in Chiricahua Park. This time we are going to do the Mushroom Trail and go to Pinnacle Rock. And these uh, are pretty famous rocks, I guess, that are um, shown in the photos of this uh, park. So far, it's down, down, down into the canyons. And that means when we come back, it's up, up, up. For photography this time of year, the challenge is the lighting here is really quite harsh. You're either in uh, shadow or directly in the sun. So depending on the time of day, you really want to judge how you take your hikes. We definitely chose the right time to come early in the morning. We were on the trail by 8.30 and it's much more peaceful and quiet. So we've been hiking uphill for quite some ways and just saw a sign that said Mushroom Rock. I imagine the hike takes us all the way there, but that's the famous elusive Mushroom Rock. Because <laughs> it's gonna be disappointing as if that's the only view we get. So we will continue up, up, up. You may hear me breathing a lot, and it's because we're used to living at sea level. So it's a nice switch, huh? I wanted to show you how nice some of this trail work is. I'm standing in a creek bed, and this must have taken a very long time to build this retaining wall around the creek bed. You can see as the creek comes around like that, it would wash the trail out normally, but they put this in. Could have taken weeks or months, but it's a great job, really great job. Okay, we're going to do it. We're at a junction where we are going out to Inspiration Point. And then it comes back here, and we'll continue on to Pinnacle Rock. Okay, right now is an excellent test for the dead cat mouse furry cover for my microphone. And I'm using the Video Me Rode microphone for Androids. And it's windy up here. So if you're not hearing wind, then it's doing its job. We have made Inspiration Point, and Wee Wee has found something. What is it, babe? Ah, there you go. Log book, and you leave something. We are leaving some Keith and Wee Wee cards. Because this is our view. Look at this, folks. Woo! Beautiful. Let's take the last little leg here. The last little leg to the big point. Oh yeah. I'm inspired.
Now we're really testing it. This is insane. Oh, this is crazy wind. It's Wee Wee filling out her card for us. This looks cool. Do you see that thing? That one. Honey. It's grabbing my hat like a sail. <laughs> there, you go. there it is. Well, you know, if you've ever looked at something like this and said, gosh, how big is that thing? You know, and how much does it weigh? And you never know. But today is our lucky day because look at this. So yeah, that's how much it weighs. That's how big it is. Okay, a lot of diversity on this trail. We're taking the heart loop. We have early long day. See, you don't want to get the cactus in your butt. I hate it when I have cactus in my butt. So we're on the Sarah Dimming Trail. The other side of the park. And I'm trying to see how the heck we get up Echo Canyon, but we will find out for sure. We will be heading up through that valley there, and then the cars parked somewhere over the hill up in at the top. Woo! It sure is an amazing, beautiful park, though. I think so far we've done about six miles. And uh, we're gonna get, at some point we're gonna hit that other trail. Look at this, folks. Wow. Wow. So we made it back to Echo Canyon Trail, and we are in familiar territory from yesterday. Except it's a lot windier, holy cow! Do you want to go the second run? Let's hike again. <laughs> Thank you for watching Kit and We Adventure. On our next video, we are going to Salvation Mountain and Slab City. So don't forget subscribe and click the bell so you get notification in our next video. Ciao!